everyone, it's a fresh week. And uh, we are gonna light it up. We are gonna absolutely light it up. When I say me, uh, primarily me, 10% him, 90, 10. That's how the split of this thing's gonna go. I don't know if you can see it. There's a dog snoot right around this area right here. I'm hanging out on the Home Depot bucket this week. Um, again, uh, tweaked the back about a week ago, so um, just don't feel like hauling like a 100 pound chair down the steps. A couple quick updates, uh, Basil Hayden's toast. Is it good? This is a new thing from Basil Hayden's, and yeah, it is. It's it's not even worth BSing, you guys. Um, pretty much anything that Basil Hayden's does is uh, legit, and the toast, the toast edition is no different. Um, been very impressed thus far on the little bit of sipping that I've been doing after hours on my personal time. It's my personal time. You let me do what I want. You do you, I'll do me. Um, well, I wouldn't say I would do me, but uh, let's talk about... I titled this video, Impress Your Agent, okay? Which is gonna be a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a zinger, a little bit of a curveball there as it's coming into home plate. And um, here's the deal, here's what I mean by this, guys. Real estate, your relationship between you, the client, and your agent, it's a two-way street, right? So within that, it is our job as your agent to impress you, okay? or at the very least, show you competence, if we're gonna get real about it. At the very least, just absolutely ridiculous down here. Um, at the very least, show you competence. What do I mean by competence? I mean things like, can we return a text message in a reasonable amount of time? What's a reasonable, reasonable amount of time? I don't know, like a couple hours? Like, I mean, is it that hard to imagine that, you know, is it that wild to think that you could return a text message inside of a couple hours. Like, I, dude, the fucking sneezing down here, man. Um, so, you know, can they return a text message? Can Do they seem competent at their job? Like, do they actually seem to know what they're talking about? Um, you know, like, did I write down anything of, of note here? Not, oh yeah, well I was just gonna say, um, most agents are pretty good at doing this initially. Okay, initially being the key word. And much like any relationship, if we kind of think about this like any relationship, because this is going to be like any good old fashioned dating, uh, romantic interest scenario, usually you're in your best behavior when you're first starting that relationship, right? You go on your first date and you've got your Axe body spray on, or you've got your Chanel perfume, perfume or whatever it may be, right? We're opening car doors. We're like leaving generous tips and we're trying to like, we talk about the fucking like charity work that we do, which you probably don't, but you know, you're like, oh, I volunteer with like stupid kids on the weekend. I don't know if that's a charity, but you get what I mean. Like I do nice things for other people. And by like six months in, you know, you're just like ripping ass in the middle of dates and or if you're even going on dates still, and you kind of lose the romance. Well, your relationship between your real estate agent and client, frequently it's very similar, which is you sort of impress that client to win them over. And then over time, you start to see some of those sloppy tendencies come out. So it is our job to impress you or at the very least show you competence and consistency. That said, it is also your job as the client to impress us or at the very least show us not so much competence, but kind of competence, but I would describe it more in the client case as seriousness. Okay, like, are you taking this process seriously or not? Because I can tell you from my perspective that this is not every agent because some agents will just cling on to business and because they're just, I don't know, they, they, like they just hang on too hard for some people that they should be firing. I will tell you like, just to personalize this a little bit. So we had a client, um, technically never a client, but someone that we were um, representing and uh, he came to us, we actually met him at an event that we were like a vendor at. And he's like, okay, I want to buy this like crazy uh, property. He had a really good budget for the property. And, um, and yeah, it, and he like kind of started out real hot. He was real excited about it. And then over time, it was just like, we'd send him a couple properties like, hey, what do you think about this? And it would be like five days and you wouldn't get a response. And then eventually he asked us, I'm just going to shoot you guys straight and leaving out names, but he asked us to go look at a property in Moab. Now, I live in Salt Lake City. Moab is four hours from me. 
And this was on like about a, uh, you know, let's just say like a Monday to Saturday, Sunday, basically like the weekend before. He wanted to go look at it the following Saturday. So on Monday, we sent him a text and we're like, hey, if you want to still go look at this, let me know. We're going to have some questions, yada, yada, yada. To date of filming this video, this is I'm filming this on a Saturday night, which I, I mean, literally it's Saturday night right now. So that tells you something about my social life. But um, he still has not responded to that message that we sent to him on Monday. So you know what you are? You're fired. You're fired, right? You, you're fired. And so you, you got to go. Like, you, go, you got to go. You cannot occupy space in my brain anymore because you're not showing me any level of competence, seriousness, or what I consider to be maybe more important than anything, courteous. You're not even being courteous about this, right? We're trying to help you, and you won't even give us a reply. So it is our job as your agent to potentially fire you. Like, we may have to fire you or tell you things you don't like to hear, which I've been on the delivering end of information that people have not want to hear as recent as today. So it's like, look, it is not our job to be your friend, um, you know, to further personalize it. Like, because I do gun reviews and all this kind of stuff, like, everyone thinks that I need, like, another gun pin pal. I don't. Like, I talk about guns plenty with all kinds of people all over the place. I don't need you to send me a message about real estate as a means to talk to me about guns and become my gun buddy when you're not actually looking at real estate, and we'll figure that out pretty quickly once we start going through the process with you. So look, guys, here's the point. It's all of our job to impress each other. It is a 50-50 relationship. You got to carry up you're into the bargain and we got to do ours, right? And as soon as someone starts dropping the ball consistently and showing character flaws, you got to start cutting people loose, man. So anyway, guys, that's the point of the video today. I'll cut you loose. I will send you the, I, I threat, it's the threat that I always make to him that I'm going to send him to the pound, right? So like I will send you to the pound though. Seriously, I said that to the camera, but I will send you to the pound if you keep screwing up around the house. He has not paid, by the way, freeloader hasn't paid me rent Five years? I don't know. Five years? I haven't gotten one rent check from him. So, you know, fucking head to the pound. Um, 1911syndicate.com if you guys need real estate help. Um, if you have questions, things that you would like to see discussed on this channel, please um, chime in in the uh, comments because that actually helps. It gives us some stuff to talk about based on your user-generated feedback. So thank you so much for that. Um, even if you don't have anything really to say, still leave a comment because the algorithm don't really give a shit. It just wants to see some comments. So thanks, everyone. Hope you have a nice week. See you soon.